What's up guys, this is Seth from TechShift. Today I'm going to give you an overview of how I use my Razer Naga Chroma Epic mouse. Now this is a gaming mouse, but I specifically use this for work, specifically MTurks and Final Cut Pro X. And I'm going to show you just how I use it right now. So first off, I'm going to give you a quick little overview of the Razer Synapse software. Now when you download the Razer Synapse software, it'll ask you to register for Razer Zone and when you do, it'll automatically detect your mouse and your mouse's serial number so you can register the product and they'll give you support for I think two to five years or three to five years, something like that, which is pretty nice. You don't have to mail any postcards or anything like that. So right here, I'm going to give you an overview of the mouse and the buttons. These are the standard buttons. You can see left click, right click, scroll click. I have this as volume down, volume up. I have this as forward in the browser. This is my back browser and the standard scroll up and scroll down. Now, if I go to the side view, that's where all the, the good buttons come into play. I have, right now I'm having, I'm using my Final Cut Pro X profile, which is, this is to go to the beginning of the timeline. This is to play. My uh, left, left shift, I use this as a shift modifier. Uh, this is nothing right now because I haven't remapped it. This is for my blade tool. This is to zoom in and this is to zoom out. And this is to go back to my MTurk, my default profile, which I'm going to do right now. So as you can see right here, I switched to the default MTurk profile. I use this as paste, this as copy. This is my mechanical Turk ID, my age. This is a, these are all macros right here. This is my age, no, my race, male. This is just a random test I did. So real quick, I'm going to show you just how macros work right here. So I'm going to edit this macro right here, which was just a test. So I'm going to go to record delay. I'm going to change that to no delay. And I'm going to record just a random, random thing right here. And okay, and let me stop that. So remember, this macro query was assigned to eight. So if I open up a browser or any, any text editor, I'm just going to press eight. And as you can see, this is the macro I just recorded. See, if you notice that when you press it, it's not instant. It's, it'll register as a key press by key press with no delay. So it's still pretty fast. It's not a big deal to me. It's actually, you know, not very, not really something to wor be worked up over. So I'm going to show you how I use Mechanical Turks in general. Now, it may not go exactly as I uh, would like, but just bear with me. So I accept the hit and okay, this does not require, this requires a mobile device. Okay, let me return that. Let me just see if I can click on a random one real Okay. What is this crap? Let me return this also. I might edit this out. I'm gonna try to find a an easy one that will cooperate with me. Okay, right here. When you uh, when you accept the hit on mechanical MTurk, especially if if there are surveys, they will usually ask you for. Let's just say, for example, this right here that I'm highlighting. It won't say your unique social media. Update. It'll say something like, "Please enter your mechanical Turk ID." So I'll do that now instead of having to go to my dashboard. And finding it right here, that that's that can be a big hassle, and it, it can be cluttered real quick, especially if you have a lot of tabs open. I can just go here and click three, which is my mechanical MTurk ID. Or sometimes it'll ask you at the end of the survey, do you have any? Um, it'll ask you for your age. And I can do that. It'll ask you if you have any comments. You can just hit no, and then continue. Because sometimes it it will say, do you have any comments? In, even if you don't have any comments, it won't let you go to the next part until you entered something there. So that's kind of a, it'll save you time in the long run. It, it only seems like it's a minor inconvenience, but if you're constantly going back, copying your MTurk ID or whatever, um, it, it can take some time and it can be a little, it can break your zone. Now, the reason I have it hotkeyed instead of hotkey to copy and paste is oftentimes when you do service, you need to copy a survey code. So let's say I got copied this random string right here. 
I highlight it, I press 2 to copy, and just so you know that it worked, I hit 1 to paste. So let me copy this random snippet right here just to show you again. Copy that and paste. Now as you can see, it works quite well. So uh, it can it saved me a bunch of times and it you know helped me fly through these surveys. So that's just one of the things that I use it for. Let me show you another thing I use it for. Let me go back to my Final Cut Pro X profile. So I'm gonna open up Final Cut Pro X right here. Now I have 2S space. So as you can see, it's working. I can hit one to go to the beginning. As you can see, it worked. Uh, let me pause that. Um, I use three as a uh, shift modifier. Now that comes in handy when I want to scroll horizontally. So I hold shift and I just use the scroll wheel like that. See, hold, hold three and use the scroll wheel. Now I'm not using my other hand right now as you can see I'm not holding shift on the keyboard I just remap that as a shift modifier if I press 6 I can zoom into the timeline I can get some really fine edits now if I have 5 I can blade something which I'm not gonna do right now uh, because I don't wanna mess this up and re-render everything that will just take too long but that's pretty much it for this video as you can see you can let your imagination run wild and have it do whatever you want it to do. If you're doing a specific task, let's say if you're you're a fo Photoshop guru and you want to remap, cut, copy, or paste, or some of the tools, they might have hotkeys enabled. You can press 1 to get to your move tool, 2 to get to your crop tool, 3 to get to your transform tool. As you can see, the possibilities are not endless, but it can expand your productivity. And that's what I use this mouse for. So let me know what you guys think about this video. If you have any comments down below, please let me know. And uh, please like, favorite, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.